Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Abir. Welcome to my channel. And today we are going to see what is said delineation with RGIS 10.5. Okay, uh, you first of all you have to obtain the required data which includes a digital elevation model and stream network file for your area of interest. If you don't know how to download this data, check my previous videos. Okay, first of all you uh, go to you have to set up work your work environment go to geoprocessing and uh, go to environments and under workspace uh, change the scratch workspace uh, as your output folder like this will be my destination folder just add it and and browse to raster analysis and uh, select cell size as same as layer N25 as it is and click OK and uh, check one thing go to customize and extensions and make sure you enable SPHL analysis here and uh, check it and close in next step you have to create a depression less than data to go to our toolbox and browse special analysis tools hydrology and double click in fill the fill tool is used to remove any import, uh, imperfections in the digital elevation model input surface raster as this file and you can uh, set the output surface raster to your working directory and provide a descriptive name for the output output and uh, click ok ok this is our field over here and next is uh, create a flow direction grid double click here and input surface raster as the field ok and click ok a flow direction grid assigns a value to each cell to indicate the direction of flow. That is the direction that water will flow from the particular cell based on the underlying topography of the landscape. And in next step, you have to create a flow accumulation grid. Uh, under hydrology, double click in flow accumulation and uh, input flow direction raster. Okay flow direction raster and click ok the flow accumulation tool calculates the flow into each cell by identifying the upstream cells that flow into each downslope cell ok here is our flow accumulation raster uh, right click in here and go to properties go to symbology and classify it. set classes as two and uh, class, uh, click classify here okay set the first break value into a threshold number that will assist with delineation channels this value will be based on your data and is really up to the analyst okay i am selecting 500 here and click ok and apply and next uh, click here double 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 click here and uh, select as no color and uh, the second range uh, i'm choosing a red okay mm, the flow accumulation layer is now symbolized so that you are better able to visually pinpoint areas of highlight flow accumulation the next thing we have to create uh, to we have to create a basin go to hydrology again and the double click basin and here input a uh, flow direction raster this is the flow direction raster and click ok ok the basin has created to convert it uh, go to our toolbox and the conversion tools from raster raster to polygon okay input raster as basin 
and click OK. Okay, now it is converted into polygon and uh, go to uh, click the selection tool and the selection uh, and, this, and select your uh, study area. For example, uh, this is my study area and go to geo processing and clip input feature as raster basin and clip feature is raster basin also click ok and this portion will be extracted from this whole area ok see this portion is extracted from this whole area now go to our toolbox again and under special analysis tools uh, you can you will find map algebra and double click raster calculator and map, uh, map algebra map algebra expression flow accumulation set for accumulation is greater than 500 and we have to change the environments here environments and uh, workspace and we will change it and copy and paste ok and click ok ok so raster calculator has created uh, let's hide it and set this as hollow ok and also change this zero value as hollow and the one value as blue or red or green whatever you want uh, okay now we have to change this uh, raster as polyline go to our toolbox again and conversion tool and from uh, raster raster to polyline okay input raster as raster calculator one and click ok ok now you can change it again click here and set color as river ok To clip that portion, okay, let's uh, name it as watershed. And then go to your processing, go to clip and input feature as stream and clip feature. Uh, to, uh, we want to clip the watershed from here. Okay, let's hide all this. okay so uh, this is our study area and we created a watershed delineation and that's how you can create watershed pollination for your study area thank you and please like uh, like share and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you